lovelies. So welcome to another weekly vlog. Firstly, I'm going to apologise for the state of my hair. Basically, these are second day curls. I don't really want to add any heat to, so they're just a bit of a mess, basically. Um, but yeah, I'm vlogging this week, so um, pretty boring week, actually, apart from one exciting thing that's happening towards the end of the week, which I'll tell you more about later. Gucci loafers to the beach. Me. <laughs> it's such a nice day. Like, I'm literally in a t shirt in the middle of March. It's like 18 degrees or something. So, so nice. Okay, I think I exaggerated. <laughs> temperature just a little bit <laughs> I've just checked on my Instagram like temperature gauge and it says 12 degrees so not quite 18 so I've had to borrow a hoodie but um it is so lovely still like still like nice warm sun on my face I hope the weather stays like this <laughs> until the summer now so, so nice. we're so lucky that we live quite near a beach actually it's not like it's a really nice beach but it's not it's quite um stony it's not very sandy so it's not like the best beach but super grateful to live near one so quite nice to come and clear your head and just yeah have a little walk we've come to uh, meet my mum here as well i think that she's just around this corner here Hey guys, so it's a bit later now. It is half past six. Um, sorry about the crap iPhone footage earlier. I'm literally the worst vlogger this week. I came out with like a really, really low charged battery. So yeah, my camera died, but hopefully I got some bits um, on my phone. And yeah, I had a really, really nice day actually. It was quite a chilled one. Um, obviously went to the beach, went for some lunch, which was lovely, and then went and had a little walk, and it was actually quite nice. My phone ran out of battery as well, literally after I took those um, clips, and so I didn't have a phone, didn't have a camera, and actually it was kind of nice just to like, I don't know, kind of be in the moment a little bit and not be really worried about getting like a good angle on the vlog or whatever, so yeah, it was quite nice actually. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really doing much tonight, I'm just going to... Um, probably cook some dinner in a bit and um probably wash this hair because it's looking a bit of a stain right now um i also need to edit a video which needs to go up tomorrow um so yeah a bit of a boring one really um nothing too exciting along with kind of the rest of this week i haven't really got a lot on other than um i'm going to like my personal trainer um i'm going into london on friday for something really exciting but i can't tell you about it yet um, which I know is very annoying, but I am vlogging it, but that vlog won't be um, released yet. It'll be released sort of like in the summertime when this whole thing comes out, if you get me. So that's really annoying, I know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd start a vlog this week because why not? I quite like the ones where I'm just chilling at home and yeah. Good morning, guys. So um, it is is tuesday morning um it's actually not morning at all i think it's like it's actually half past two <laughs> um 
But this morning, I have literally just been work, work, work. From the minute that I got up about half eight, I um, sat down on my computer and have not left, pretty much. Um, I had some porridge for breakfast, then I had a salad for my lunch, but yeah, it's just been like pretty full on. I've only just this second stopped and got into my gym kit. I was literally in my pyjamas before, which is a bit of a dream being able to work from my pyjamas, but it's a bad habit to get into. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just got into my gym kit. Sorry about the state of me. Um, need to uh, wash my hair and all sorts. But um, I was actually going to PT this morning, well, this afternoon, but um, she's not very well, so um, she had to cancel. But I've had such a bad weekend, like in terms of eating loads and stuff like that. So I thought um, I would just get up, get in my gym kit, and I might either go to the gym or I might actually just try and do like a little something outside in the garden because it's such a nice day. Um, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> do a little something outside which will just be with like no equipment or anything like that. Um, I've got like some dumbbells. Um, so yeah, so whatever I do, I will film it and let you know. I kind of can't be bothered to drive to the gym because um, the gym's like, it's a good half an hour away really. So it's a bit of a trek. So I think I might just do it out there. So wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so. What I've done is I've basically just gone around the house and rounded up all the stuff that we have. Um, we have like a little tiny gym in the garage. It's not really a gym, it's just a bench and some weight, which I don't ever use, but um, my boyfriend does. It also helps that my boyfriend is an athlete, so we have like this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm going to make a little circuit, I think. Um, probably like start off with some sprints. And then I'm looking for a skipping rope as well, which I can't find, so I think I'm going to use this. Maybe this is a skipping rope, I don't know. I thought it was a resistance band, but maybe it's not. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how I get on. <laughs> So it's a little bit later now. It's hard they go in. It's half past six, um, and I just got in from. Um, well, I went to yoga, then I went to the food shops. So I'm just about to start dinner. So we're gonna have salmon with roasted veg. So I'm gonna pop that in here now, and I've just pushed my video live as well. And yeah. Ooh. Oh, that one's. Oh no, it's that one. That was completely better. Yeah, I know. I took the bowl about that one. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So like probably chat to you before dinner. I'm about to apply, here it is, um, some Olaplex on it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I asked about this um, a couple days ago, just because I felt like where my hair's been bleached a lot, it's just not in like great condition. And to be honest, my hair can take quite a lot. Like I'm quite lucky, but I think it's just got to a point now where it just needs like a little bit of something. Um, I normally use like as a hair mask, hang on, let me get it. 
I normally use the um, John Frieda uh, like lemon miracle one, um, which I love. But this is kind of like, it's not as hard hitting as Olaplex, if you know what I mean. Like this is like a good one for just using like every week or something to kind of keep on top of it. But um, Olaplex is like super intense. So I wanted to try something a little bit more intense. Oh, I need to take the lid off. Um, and this had really, really good reviews. So basically Olaplex is a five part step. So step one and two is in the hairdressers, which they use like while they're doing your color, or you can have treatment, which I think I might go and get done. Um, and then step three is this like mask that you use at home. And then step four and five, I can't get this off, sorry. <laughs> step four and five is a conditioner, a shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna start with step three because even, some people said that even though like they hadn't had the treatment with the hairdresser, they still used it and it was um, still really good. So let's give it a go and then I'll let you know. So it says um, to use it one times per week or two to three times per week with really damaged hair. Um, apply a generous amount from scalp to ends until the hair is thoroughly saturated. Okay. God. So, um, I used the Olaplex last night, as you'll know, and I also used the shampoo and conditioner this morning to wash it out, and I definitely think it is so much softer, it kind of feels like back to my normal hair again, uh, before, like when I felt it, it was very like straw-like almost, um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually, I think I'm still going to go in to a salon and get the um, treatment put on my hair because I do think that will sort of give like the full effect. Um, but yeah, no, all positive reviews, definitely. It's definitely kind of made it back to normal, which is just what I was looking for, so yes. Sorry, I've just moved where you were slightly. Um, so I thought I would do a makeup on camera uh, today because I've got some new makeup bits from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so they sent me over some of their foundation, their powder, uh, a primer, highlight, yeah, so loads of fun bits. And I said on my Instagram that I would try them out with you guys, so I thought now would be a good time to do that because um, I've already tried the, they sent me the Magic Foundation and they also sent me the Light Wonder. I've already tried the Light Wonder, which was really, really nice, but it's not like a heavy, ugh, it's not heavy coverage at all. Um, so I wanted to try like a slightly heavier coverage. I've already swatched this on my hand and it looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. So first up, I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Glow. Now, so many people, when I put this on my Instagram, came back to me with like amazing reviews. They were like, this has actually changed my life. Just looks like this on the hand. It's got quite a shimmer to it. Um, and actually, I think you can use this in loads of different ways. So you can apply it under your foundation. Um, you can mix it in with your foundation, or you can wear it alone. Um, or obviously, you can put it on top of your foundation. Um, not really sure how that one works, but... Uh, so I'm just going to apply it um, underneath my foundation today. And I might mix a little bit into my foundation as well actually. Because I do like to be like super glowy. Okay, so it definitely makes my skin quite dewy actually that. Next up I'm going to go in with the Magic Foundation and I'm wearing this in the shade 6. So... There we go, that's it there. It's quite like a creamy consistency actually. And then I'm going to pop some of this in with it as well. And then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury complexion, Magic Complexion to blend that all together. And then let's go in with it. Wow, it's definitely a lot heavier than the... Uh, light wonder which is kind of the point <laughs> do let me know like down below what sort of videos you want to see from me i think i'm in a bit of a, a bit of a filming rut at the moment like i really want to film like i'm always in the mood to film but i'm just a bit stuck with ideas and i really want to do things like um like a spring summer occasion wear video or like a um capsule wardrobe video or something like that but i kind of feel like we're still in the kind of very in between stages between 
spring do you know what i mean like i've been kind of browsing online for like good occasion wear bits and there's just not a lot out there um and so i'm wondering whether maybe sort of more towards april will be the time when brands start bringing out that sort of thing so i'm thinking that might be a better time for me to do it because i don't want to do one and then feel as though it wasn't like very good and have to do another one you know what i mean so i'd rather do like one really really good one so i might hold out for those sort of ones i think like at the moment i don't know just like trying to think of like relevant things to film that you guys want to see is proving difficult so if you guys can let me know um i just uploaded a what i wore in a week on my channel and i think that went down quite well um a lot of people seem to really like that so i think i might keep doing them um so yeah so i'm gonna use the tarte shape tape in light to medium honey which i've used for years and years i'm always on the lookout for like another good um heavy coverage concealer i love this one but fun to try new things you know um so if anyone has any recommendations then let me know i think i've heard the um oh is it the urban decay one is really good i can't remember which one um but yeah definitely let me know so next up i'm just going to use the um chanel soleil tan de chanel uh, bronzer appreciate that right now my face is a different color to my body it's because i've got some fake tan on my face Got the Saint Tropez facial oil on, which I really, really like actually. So, next up, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Now, I've used this forever. I think since it came out, I was just obsessed with it. So, I got this in the shade 4 medium. And like I said, I've had this, I think I've had this for a good year and a half at least. And it's still so full. You literally need a tiny bit. Um, I just love it. I just think it creates such a subtle glow. I just put it in like areas where you kind of have a bit of a natural glow anyway um and then buff it in i really really like this one it's definitely sort of like one of my holy grail makeup products definitely i have got a full like makeup video on how i do my everyday makeup um on my youtube channel so i will link that down below if you are interested um but yeah i just sort of try out these kind of new bits whilst doing my makeup at the same time so I'm just going to use some powder quickly under my eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish powder in the shade 2. And then I'm going to use the um, Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. Now, I was so excited to be sent this because I've seen so many good like adverts for this. Um, it just looks amazing. So um, I have already used it and I really like it. So it's just like one of these little twisty um sponges and um you literally just squeeze it out onto your cheek like this okay and then close it up and then i think i'm just going to use my fingers to buff that in it's a really nice glow hopefully you can see i tend to prefer a liquid highlight over a um powder highlight just because I have quite dry skin and I sometimes find a, a powder highlight can I don't know just kind of stick to me and doesn't really make me look like dewy it just makes me look like I've got a load of highlighter on my face <laughs> um so next up we gonna do brows quickly I'm actually going to get my eyebrows microbladed which I am kind of nervous about and I mean I know microblading has been around for ages now um and I have wanted it for a really long time. I just think I've just been a little bit nervous, obviously, because I know like trends in eyebrows change and, you know, one day I might not want big bushy eyebrows, <laughs> but obviously the microblading isn't permanent. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and give it a go. There's a girl that lives locally to me that does an amazing job and she's done a couple of my friends. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and see her. Basically, like these are my natural eyebrows and I think they are fine. It's just that I'd like them to be a little bit more filled out here and underneath a little bit in the front as well i just love to not have to do my eyebrows in the morning um it would definitely just save me a lot of time and effort <laughs> okay, so i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this um hollywood wand again under my brow bone now i've done my eyebrows really like this if i was going to recommend anything out of um all of the bits i've shown today 
I think it would definitely be this highlight. And then I'm going to use Max Velvet Teddy on my lips, I think. Okay, so that is my makeup done. Oh, we're a bit zoomed in. <laughs> there we go. That's my makeup done. Um, and now I'm going to go choose an outfit and then get ready for going into town too. Sorry, the camera cut off then. <laughs> I'm going to go and choose an outfit now and yeah, head into town. Hey guys. I don't know. <laughs> um, it is two o'clock. Well, it's quite late, isn't it? Hi guys. <laughs> so um, I've just come out for some lunch with my mum. I'm gonna sit outside in the sunshine and get some lunch. We look well matching in our matching sunnies. Um, check out mum's cool outfit as well. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we just come to a place in Southampton called XOXO which is a new place actually and I came here for breakfast the other day and it was really nice so I thought we'd try lunch out look I'll just show you it oh it also um also does dinner and drinks so here it is um so yeah and then I'm <clears throat> gonna head into town return those bits that I need to return and I'm also gonna go to Ikea because I need some photo frames um where's she off to <laughs> um so yeah I'll catch up with you guys when we're in there I feel like I didn't show your outfit well enough Look at these, part of the white jean crew. <laughs> right, come on, take yeah, it, okay, okay, okay. 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 Hey guys, so we just got back from town and actually I wanted to say that um, even my mum said that my hair is looking in way better condition since using that Odaplex last night so I actually really really do recommend that stuff. I think it's kind of just got it back to normal if not even softer than normal so yeah happy with that. I just also thought I'd show you, um, I got a couple of bits in town, I didn't really mean to but you know how it is. Um, I literally went in to return some stuff and go to the post office. First thing that we got is this. <laughs> Big shower caddy, which my mum carried around town. <laughs> no, just into a couple of shops. So yeah, got that from John Lewis. I think that was £25. Exciting stuff. Then I um, went into H&M so that they could take off the security tag. Basically, I bought a linen dressing gown, um, which is probably a little bit extra but I love wearing a dressing gown when I'm at home like when I'm doing my makeup and stuff and I was getting a bit hot in like my big fluffy one because you'll have seen it last night it's absolutely huge it's from John Lewis by the way so I got this white one thank you I got this white linen one um but dead left tag on so um they just took that off for me so I'm excited to start wearing that and then I also got one of these little cute ties because if you watch my what I wore in a week um I was wearing like a leopard print one loads and I just thought this little pop of colour was quite nice. So I got that which was 4 99 and then I got some socks. And then, this is probably an exciting purchase, um, I got two pairs of jeans and Levi. Just like when I was hiding up my room and stuff earlier I was kind of looking at a lot of my jeans and just thinking I either don't like these jeans anymore or they don't fit me very well anymore. Um, I think I've lost like a little bit of weight around my like tummy so a lot of them are quite big on the waist and stuff so I've decided that I'm going to um, clear out a lot of my jeans and um, went into Levi to see what they had and yeah so first pair that I got was um, these ones these are the wedgie straight I think I showed you these ones on actually um, so they're high rise and they're like nice and tight on your hips and your thighs and then obviously they just go into a straight leg um, and they're a really nice wash as well really nice for the summer these ones were £85 um, but if you are a student, you can get 20% off Levi's, which I think is really good. So that brings them down to like nearish the like £65 mark. So it's not too bad for like very good quality denim. So yeah, I got them. I already have um, a pair of the 501 skinnies from Levi, which I wear all the time. Again, you'll have seen them in my what I wore in a week. So like if I'm not wearing my Topshop denim, I'm usually wearing Levi's. So yeah and then the last one that i got is a white pair because um you might know if you follow me on insta and stuff that i have the cream top shop um well they're like off-white top shop mom jeans which i love but i wanted like a bright white pair um and i saw these ones in levi and i thought i'd try them on and they actually fit really really nice so these are the 501 original uh the cropped 
Um, and I think what's really nice about these is they're the like kind of original 501 fit, but they're stretchy because the original 501s are very like stiff and not very comfy at all, but these were so comfy. Um, so again, I got these in a waist 26, length 28. Um, where's the tag? How much were these? 85 pounds as well. So I know that is expensive for jeans, but I do think you get what you pay for kind of thing. Just making myself some hot cross buns. Does anyone else go absolutely mad for hot cross buns at the moment? <laughs> to be fair, I've been eating them for the last month or something, but when they're like, they're always at the tills for some reason. Well, obviously it's like Easter, I suppose, coming soon. Actually, it's literally not Easter for like a month. <laughs> and they've been at the tills for ages, but every time I go to the food shop, I manage to buy some. And I actually bought two packs because I get through them so fast. Um, I also always feel like toasting hot cross buns it's a bit of an art because they burn really quickly god this is riveting content guys isn't it <laughs> but um yeah anyway so i'm gonna make my hot cross buns and then uh, i'm gonna go upstairs and sort out my jeans which i'll bring you with me okay so i think i'm gonna get them all out of their drawer first and um sort them into piles and then put them all back in and I'm gonna do teach you well you probably know about it to be fair like a little jean folding hack um which I learned from Mary Kondo I don't know if you've heard about her she's like this Japanese woman who has these like she's got shows on Netflix I think she's got a book it's all about like tidying up and enjoying tidying basically so yeah and she actually <laughs> to be fair to her has a very good way to, to fold jeans and um, it means that you can store quite a few um, in your drawers and stuff so yeah I can show you that I actually have far too many blue denim jeans like far too many but I just like love a light blue denim jean my absolute fave okay <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to show you the little technique for folding jeans. Um, so let me think where I'm going to put you. I think I'll put you back over here. Okay, so what you do is, I think I'm doing this slightly different to how she does it. But I also used to work in Hollister and they used to be obsessed with folding jeans. So uh, anyone that used to work in Hollister will know. Um, but I do it like, so you fold it like in half like that. And then you fold it in half again like that. And then you fold it in half again. So essentially it looks like this. And then you can put it in your drawer and kind of stack them up. So if I just do another one quickly to show you. When you ship a sail and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you, baby remember Okay, so, and then you end up with this situation here So, they look super neat um, And obviously you can tell, you know, which gene is which And you can pull them out easy as well um, and yeah, you can fit in a lot of jeans rather than just having them folded um, You can actually use like all the space back here and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks Mary Kondo Can Kondo con I think I'm saying that wrong <laughs> So we're just about to head out to the pub just for a drink. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit overdressed to be honest but um, Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So I've got this t-shirt on from Topshop um, and then I've got this leather jacket on from Zara, well faux leather, bought this a while ago. So it's actually my very first Zara haul if you've been watching since then. Um, and then I've just got my black Topshop Orson jeans on and um, some black Zara sock boots. To be honest, a lot of this you probably won't be able to get anymore apart from the jeans. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go out to the pub now, get a drink and then come back and make some dinner, basically. Too far when you 
guys, so I'm looking a little bit fresher than the last time that you saw me. Oh my god, that workout was so hard. Kind of did like a bit of a pyramid workout, so we did like a 400 metre row and then like a set of exercises and a 300 metre row, set of exercises, back up to a 500, set of exercises, 300, 500, all of that jazz. So yeah, it was intense. So I looked a little bit hot and sweaty after it. Um, but anyway, I've now got dressed and I'm just about to head out the door because I'm going to go to London um, and see my sister today. Um, so I haven't seen her since her birthday, so I'm going to take a little bag of stuff with her birthday present in. Um, and yeah, so just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. I have got a what I wore in a week coming up again, um, so I won't go over it in too much detail, but linen shirt from M&S. These are the Levi's that I bought yesterday, so hopefully you can see them on better now. Um, and then I've just got my white Gucci loafers, and then I've also got the little hairband that I got yesterday in H&M. So, kind of like all kitted out with my new stuff. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head off to London now, so I will catch up with you guys when I get there. So just before I head down to London, I'm just gonna have a quick salad, which I've literally just chucked together. So I've got prawns, some salmon that we cooked the other night, um, some, you know, salad leaves, and then I've got these little like, sprout things it's like radish sprouts alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts i think it's like this little packet that um i got in the shop so yeah gonna eat that and then good to go so i've just got to london now i just listened to um fang Houghton's happy place podcast which i really really like and i actually listened to one with zoe sug in it um and it was really good actually um yeah i really enjoyed it so i recommend listening to that i really like listening to podcasts when i drive anyway there's someone there so i need to go Sorry, just had to move my car quickly. Um, but yeah, so I listened to Fern Cotton's Happy Place, which was really enjoyable. And yeah, it was um, a good one with Zoe Sug, just talking about like pressures of the internet and all of that jazz. So yeah, it was a good one. I um, think we're gonna head out to the park a little bit later. It's actually a really, really nice day. Hopefully you can see. Um, it's nice and warm as well, like I don't need a jacket at all, so yeah. Um, such a nice day today again literally loving this summer weather so much so I'm really sorry I didn't actually talk to you at all yesterday um, so yesterday I was in London um, doing a very exciting thing but like I said earlier in the vlog I can't tell you about it annoyingly so I just thought there was no point in me vlogging at all really so I just thought I'd save it and vlog at the weekend instead so like I said today is Saturday and I've just got on, um, I've got a pretty lavish cardigan on which you will have seen in my what I wore in a week um, and then I've also got this skirt from H&M on which I love. Um, I bought this um, not long ago actually, about a week ago and it's really really nice, it's kind of like pastel yellow colour um, and then I've got my Gucci loafers on and yeah I'm going to take a little basket bag with me I think. Um, and. It um, is about one o'clock. I've been editing all morning, actually editing this vlog, um, and um, now me and my mum are going to head out for some lunch, I think. Um, so yeah, it kind of feels like all I do is go out for lunch, <laughs> um, which probably is quite a big part of my life, actually. Um, I've woken up with a really sore throat as well, annoyingly, um, but I just have to power through. <laughs> So, sorry about the noise, I'm on a bit of a busy road, but we've just come into Stockbridge, which is a little village kind of near me. Um, we just come for a little wonder. There's an antiques market on as well, which I'm currently stood by. Um, my mum's just gone inside. Um, and yeah, get some lunch and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a really, really nice day. So it's a nice thing to do on a nice day. Smiling at me as 
so many times before I never wanna be away leave you again You are all I want and more It's true Hi guys! So, I really need to work on not saying hi guys in every single intro and I know it's probably really annoying but I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, since I've got home, I've literally not moved from this exact spot right here on my sofa. I've watched loads of YouTube, I've watched some TV. It was quite a chilled afternoon. I went um, food shopping as well. Um, but now it is it's quite late. It's like um, half past eight. I couldn't read my watch for a second then. <laughs> half past eight and i um, going to go out tonight. As a bit of a last minute thing. Um, I just quite fancy going out for a couple of drinks and um, yeah, you know, being a bit sociable for once. <laughs> um, but I need to go and decide what I'm going to wear. I think I should go and wash my hair as well. So it's looking a bit dodge. Um, although I'm not sure if I've got time. Um, so I need to decide what to wear. I like very rarely go out. Like, as in, like, I go for dinner and like stuff like that, but I never really go out. Um, on like nights out, just because it's just not really my vibe. I just don't really like like clubs and stuff. So I am officially ready. Sorry I didn't like bring you with me for the getting ready process, but I was in a bit of a rush because I decided to wash my hair and dry it and all that jazz, and that takes forever. But this is my outfit. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Like I said, got a what I wore in a week coming up, but um, all the links will be down below. But yeah, I'm not going to bring you guys with me because you better believe this camera does not really fit in here. Um, so I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Hopefully I'm not feeling too rough then. <laughs> Hi everyone, so happy Sunday morning and also happy Mother's Day. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I've got such a sore throat, literally. It's been something that's kind of brewing for a while and all of a sudden today I've woken up and it's so sore. So sorry if my voice is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, like I said, today is actually Mother's Day. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna head out to the shops in a minute just to grab my mum some flowers. Um, I have already got her a present and stuff. And um, then we are gonna go out for a roast for Mother's Day. Um, feeling a little bit tired from last night. It's quite a late one. Um, and then we got back until about half four. Um, but then the clocks did change, so I think that's technically half three. But I don't know, I get quite confused. Did it go forward? I think they went forward, which would mean it was half three. That makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have got myself ready and we are just off to go pick my mum up and then we're going to go out for a roast. A little sneak peek at the outfit but it will all be featured in the what I wore in a week. So yeah, let's go. spoken to you since we got home but I'm actually really not feeling very well so I'm gonna end the vlog here and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it um, and let me know what you thought down below I don't know if this week kind of seemed like I was just like eating out quite a lot and like stuff like that um, and like I wasn't really working but I don't really show you when I am doing work because it's just boring um, and this week was like quite a quiet one actually next week is a lot busier so hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow feeling better but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye